Let's talk about real estate scams and how you can avoid them. Scam number three is going to be rental properties, Airbnb, Craigslist scams. And it's not uncommon for scammers to steal the photos of a home that's listed for sale, especially if it's a vacant house. And they will post those photos and the description on Facebook Marketplace, on Craigslist, and they will advertise those homes to be for rent. So what I would encourage you to do is if the address is there, Google the address. If that address comes up as a home that is for sale, contact the listing agent. Hey, is this home just for sale or is it for rent also? You're going to find out. And I've had people who have called me. I had a lot of this going on last year when I was working with the flipper. Most of our homes were vacant. And I swear, it seemed like every time we'd list one, we would get the Facebook Marketplace scam or the Craigslist scam listing the house for rent instead of for sale. And I would profusely apologize to people, be like, hey, no, it's not for rent. Don't send those people any kind of money. Now, if you're renting from Airbnb, because that is an, an, a new scam that's going around now too, make sure that you have verified the host. Airbnb will put a little check mark or a seal or something if they're verified host. Look at how many reviews they have. Look at how long they've been on the platform. What kind of reviews do they have before you commit to staying with them? I'm a creature of habit, so when I find somebody that I really like the condo that I've rented, I just stay with them because I don't want to have to take the, the chance on renting another property and then it'd be totally different from what I was expecting it to be. So I only use a verified host on Airbnb. So just think about these scams, maybe save the video so you can watch it later and make a brief note of them because there's so many scammers in the world today. They're always coming up with new ways to try to steal your hard-earned money.